Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, and Toho unveils the trailer for the new Japanese language Godzilla movie Godzilla Minus One, showcasing an epic amount of destruction and mayhem, and the Godzilla Minus One trailer has arrived, teasing more giant monster mayhem, Godzilla Minus One, which was written and directed by Takashi Yamazaki, who also helmed the visual effects team will be the 33rd Japanese language Godzilla movie and the 37th Godzilla movie overall. It will also be the first live-action Japanese movie to feature the iconic Kiju since 2016 Shin Godzilla, which was the highest-grossing non-English movie in the franchise as well as earning the fourth highest Rotten Tomatoes score of the overall franchise. Behind 1964 Mothra vs. Godzilla, 1954 Original Godzilla, and 1995 Godzilla vs. Tsuroya, and Toho has now unveiled the official trailer for the new movie ahead of the Godzilla Minus One release date on November 3rd in Japan and December 1st in the US, and the trailer teases the epic return of Godzilla with a series of quick glimpses at the devastation the monster wreaks, including a chunk of a city street being blasted at a nearly 90 degree angle. It also explains the title with a series of title cards referencing the fact that Japan has lost everything in the aftermath of war, and that Godzilla presence takes the country from zero to minus. And everything revealed by the Godzilla Minus One trailer. And the most important, and curious, element of the trailer corroborates the fact revealed by the movie's synopsis, which is that Godzilla Minus One is set in post-World War II Japan, while some synopsis state this means it is set in the late 1940s, it is currently unclear how that could be the case. One key moment in the trailer involves a character recognizing Godzilla, which wouldn't be possible in the original timeline of the franchise, given that Godzilla's first attack occurred in 1954. And likely, details on the time period and continuity will become clearer when a more expansive trailer for the movie is released, however. The setting is in keeping with the tone of the more serious entries in the Godzilla franchise. Godzilla has always been closely linked to the aftermath of World War II, and the monster's arrival in the 1954 original is widely believed to be a metaphor for Japan weathering the impact of the atomic bombs that were dropped on their shores in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. And the Godzilla Minus One trailer also reveals that humanity will fight back against the new Toho Godzilla both on land and by sea, however, the odds seem insurmountable. Although the movie will take place considerably before the events of Shin Godzilla, it does seem to retain that movie's sense of despair and awe-inspired catastrophe. And we're in the end of the video now, and another awesome video I will meet you again. Bye guys have a good day.